think you believe that there are no mistakes in your Bible? Um, I wouldn't say. I think we've got to be a bit careful here. We've yeah. got to be a bit careful. Yeah. I believe that when the when the books of the Bible were originally written. Yes. Okay. As they are in their original form. Yes. They are without error. Because yeah. God guided those who wrote them. Okay. okay? Yeah. God guided them. God yeah. They would be reliable for us. We can trust what they say. So know. you are saying when God? Say they are without error. So yeah. th thank you very much. It may, for, be, yeah. it may be yeah. that um, because we don't have those original copies, yeah. 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 the copies which we have may have some errors in them. Okay. Yeah, it's quite possible. Okay. It's okay. Possible. Okay. So but you are saying? We are saying oh, okay. 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 No important, yeah. no important teaching of Christianity uh, relies upon. About which are any okay, just to original. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you for that. So you, you are saying there are no mistakes in the Bible. I'm saying that in the original there is no mistakes. Yes, I'm not saying that in the translations that we have nowadays no. there are no no mistakes. Oh, let's say, let's say yeah, I got, got a new international yeah. Yeah. Let's say I got a new. Let's, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's say I got the New International Version of the Bible, yes. which is one of your Protestant Bibles, yes. and you're a Protestant Christian, also, yes. and you're a born again Christian. Yes, I born again, yes. You're a Protestant Christian yes. who has a Bible with 66 books. Yes, yeah. Right. So yes. this Bible, the New International Version of the Bible, Holy Bible, also has uh, 66 books. 66 books. Yes. Okay. So. So you believe in the Bible there are no mistakes? In the original there are no mistakes because it's not okay. the right okay. It's not necessarily is. the case that there are no mistakes in this translation. Okay. Can 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 there be mistakes in this in this version of the Bible? Um, there could be, there could be mistakes in there because it translates, may have translated things wrongly, or they may have translated from manuscripts in which the words were incorrectly copied. Yeah, but so is possible? But, but there is, are errors in yeah, there. okay. But is this Bible from God? We believe that the Bible is God's message to us. So this and Bible, so reliable enough for us to be sure. So can I just, can I just say, so yeah. this Bible is from God. Yes. So this Bible is God's book. Yes, but not necessarily the New International Version translation. What about your own Bible? I use the New International Translation sometimes. Yeah. I know I also use other versions so, as well. So the Bible you use, yeah. uh, does it have mistakes? The translators could have made mistakes. All the manuscripts from which they copied. No, they I'm asking you, which Bible do you use? King James's version? I usually use the New International version like this, but I also use it in English no, what I'm version. Asking, sir, I also use other versions, yeah. Sir, what I'm asking you, do you use a King James's version of the Bible? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Sometimes, yes. Okay. Can I ask you, are there any mistakes in the King James's version of the Bible? Yes, I think there are some. Yeah. There are some. Okay. Can I? We've learned some. Yeah. There are some mistakes there. Yes. Okay. Right. So, so you're a good Christian. You're answering my questions without fighting back with me. And as a Christian, you are agreeing that there are mistakes in the King James's version of the Bible. There are a few, there are a few errors. There are a few. It's a translator's name, yeah. Errors, errors, mistakes. Yeah. And you say there are... We do believe that you know, the translators understand the original language is in yeah. 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 since those days. And since the days of King James, King James translated yeah. in 1611. Yeah. In the 400 and, in the 409 years since then, yeah. we've gained a better understanding of the original languages. Okay, and now. We've got many more manuscripts. There can I? Seven manuscripts to okay. work from. Okay, can I? We have 5,000 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Greek manuscripts and yeah. many manuscripts of the, of the Hebrew also yeah. in the Old Testament. Okay, now, yeah. in the second book of Timothy, okay. chapter 3. Verse 16, which is in the New Testament of any Christian Bible, it says all scripture is inspired of God. All scripture is inspired of God. So, all right. So.
inspired or breathed out by God, yeah. it's profitable for teaching, yeah. for reproof, for yeah. correction, and for training in righteousness. So, in the other words, God may be completely equipped for every good work. So, in other words, the Bible is a book yes. of God, yes? That's right. That's what the Bible says. It's supposed right. to be the message of God to us. Now, I want to give you some example. Yes. And then uh, uh, stand slightly back. Oh, sorry. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. No problem. No problem. Okay. Right. Now. Is your daughter, by the way? No, no. Okay. No, no. She's not my daughter. Okay. Now, uh, if I give you this Bible, will you take it from me? I would, yes. Yeah, okay. Will you, uh, would you want to read uh, your biblical scripture from that or from the Bible? Um, I don't mind because it will be the same. Okay, uh, uh, read, read it will, from the Bible I itself. Make, I will make, I'll make it the same okay, translation. Right, there are many different translations on my phone so I can choose the same one as this one. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, so I'll take the New Bible. Okay, so yeah. you choose I the New the International one. Version. Yes, I chose the New okay, International right. Version. Okay, yeah, right. Now, yeah. can I read to you? Yes. Yeah. So, we've already mentioned that in the second book of Timothy, yeah. chapter 3, verse 16, in any Christian Bible, in the New Testament, it says, all scripture is inspired of God. Yes. That is to say, yes. the Bible, which is from God, is inspired by God, of yes. God, from the yes. beginning to the end. Yes? yes? Right. We do so God guided those people who wrote it. Who so wrote, wrote it? So God when is reliable for us to, to know. So these Bibles are reliable. We believe that God's message, as it was originally written, is yeah. completely reliable. So, any errors. so okay. sir, thank you very much. Mean that modern translations yeah. don't have any errors in them. No, okay. sir, sir, thank you very much for yeah. speaking. But so, does that mean that this Bible is reliable? Yeah. And would it mean the King James's version of the Bible is reliable? I think that if you read the King James's version of the Bible, you would get the reliable message of God to us. Okay, so does it mean? You would learn the truth about us. Okay, we Muslims. How we can be reconciled yeah. to God okay. through okay. Jesus' okay. death. Thank you very much. Yes. We Muslims, we believe our Quran is reliable from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Okay, it's all reliable, hundred percent. That's what we Muslims believe. Yes. Now, as a Christian, do you believe each and every Christian Bible is reliable? Yes? Um, there are many translations of the Bible, okay? Yes. And I wouldn't say that every single translation of the Bible is a good translation of the Bible. No, For but... For example, the Jehovah's Witnesses have yeah. their own translation, which deliberately mistranslates some passages of the Bible. No, okay? no, 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 Jehovah's so, Witnesses, sorry. But, but Sorry. Most, most versions of the Bible are reliable, yeah. you can say, they're okay. trustworthy, yes. Okay, okay, did you say the Jehovah's version of the Bible? Jehovah's Witness version, yeah. They have Jehovah. their own mistranslation oh. of the Bible, yeah. So that, the Jehovah's Witness Bible, uh, that one, would you trust it or no? I wouldn't trust it, no. Why? I wouldn't trust it because they have deliberately mistranslated some passages. Oh, so they're deliberately... Yes. Okay. Uh, is it many... Deliberate mistakes, uh, uh, additions. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. In other Bibles and okay. all other Bibles, okay. including the one I use. In okay, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me, I ask you. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I asked you before, you did not want to speak with me. This Christian gentleman is a brave Christian gentleman and he's speaking with me okay, okay. so let us speak hold on what don't touch it man okay right so 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 can i give you so, yeah yeah i have already said i i don't want to repeat myself i have said the holy quran from the beginning to the end all the 114 surah chapters 80 can i Eighty? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Eighty thousand. The our Holy Quran from the beginning to the end is all reliable. Our hold on. Our Quran, eighty thousand words, perfect. Our Quran. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm saying it, my friend. I'm saying it. Our Quran, hundred and fourteen surah chapters, all reliable, all truth. 
our Quran all the, in all the hold on in all the can I in say can I tell you yes. our Quran you see I let you speak so let me speak okay and our I'm Quran okay hold on hold on you press me Do come I on hold on versions? hold on uh, let me I'm let me finish let me, I ask you the question I let you finish you let me finish okay then I got a question to ask you yeah. and then we go, will yeah. go on forward okay so again our Quran from the beginning to the end 114 surah chapters is all true we trust it we believe it okay it's all true 80,000 words in the Quran all true over 6,000 ayahs verses in the Quran, all true. So Quran from the beginning to the end, a Quran in any continent, any country, in a Muslim place of worship, in a masjid, any Muslim place of worship, any masjid in the world, or in any public library, the Quran is from the beginning to the end, the same number of ayahs, the same number of words, the same number of letters, okay? Same, sir. That's in your Bible, true, is it? Can, it's not the same no, 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 no. Hold on. Have can slash, I? Okay. They have different hold on. Of in hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I told you. That's up to you whether you want to believe or not. Now, let me give you an example, sir. 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 Don't wreck it now, okay? Now, I asked you about the Bible. You told me. I listened. Mm. I told you about the Quran. Now listen. Now we go forward. But now come back. Yes, two way. I yes. will speak and you will speak. Okay. Now for the third time. Now I want to go to my subject. Third time. Second book of Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen. Yes. All Scripture is inspired of God. Yes. Talking about the Bible. Yes. Okay. Inspired by God. So when According to your Bible, God says all scripture from the beginning to the end is yes. inspired by God. Yes. So when all scripture from the beginning to the end is inspired by God, it should not have mistakes. It should not have contradictions. Okay, now, can I give you one example? It may can I, can it may I? Record what people, it may record mistakes that people made. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we've but, got to be but, careful here. Yes. Let's be careful. Thank you very much for that, for guiding me into that. Yeah. But uh, those people who wrote the Bible, they were inspired by God. Yes. Thank you very much. They were inspired by God. So anyone who is inspired by God, as a Muslim, I would believe he cannot make a mistake. So well, anyone... I, I disagree with that, you see. Oh, okay. That's a different, we've also got a different idea here. Uh, no problem, that's, that's up idea. to you. I do so, believe, for example, that... Yeah. that Though there were people who wrote the scriptures, yeah. that, that they may have had wrong, they may have had wrong. wrong okay. Wrong so, so, so you know, sir, no as ideas. a Christian, I do believe that prophets are sinners. Okay. Okay. No, we don't and believe prophets are sinners. I well, it's obvious okay. that the prophets are sinners. Uh, that's why they. Okay, let's go on to the subject. Let's go. We we'll talk about the okay. prophets some other day. Okay, some other time. Let's talk. Come back. So all scripture is inspired of God by God. Now. You know, in the second book of Samuel, in the Old Testament, in any Christian Bible, okay, second book of Samuel, chapter 8, verse 17, it says, And Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were the priests. And Siriah was the scribe. Scribe, nowadays, they call them secretary. Okay. Okay. So what does it say? Second book of Samuel, chapter 8, verse 17. And Ahimelech, I'm not reading the whole verse. Pa yes. Can I finish yes. part of the verse? Then I will let you. Okay. Part of the verse, towards the end. It says, and... Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were the priests, and Siraya was the scribe secretary. Okay. Now, is that what it says in your uh, Bible? Well, not quite. What does quite, it say? It says Zadok. Yeah, that's from the beginning. And Ahimelech, yeah. son of Abiathar, were priests. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. And Saraya was secretary, yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you see, when I was speaking, I said yes. I would read the end of the verse. Okay. okay. I so, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah no yeah. problem, no problem. So, you agree what, with what I said? Yeah, more or less, yeah. Yeah, it, right. is, it is the same. Yeah. That who was the scribe? Siraya. Yeah, yes? Siraya was the secretary. That yeah. is S E R A I A H. Yeah, that's how we spell it in English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Sierra, Echo, Romeo, Alpha, India. Alpha Hotel, Siraya. Yeah, we spell it in English. Siraya. Yeah. Right. Okay. But sir, but sir, I got a problem. Have you? When we talk about the same people mentioned in the second book of Samuel, chapter 8, verse 17, in a different book, in the first book of Chronicles, mm. which is also in the Old Testament, of every Christian Bible, mm -hmm. okay? In the first book of Chronicles, chapter 18, verse 16, what does it say? And I, Ahimelech, again I'm reading mm -hmm. the last part of the verse. Okay. First book of Chronicles, chapter 18, verse 16, it says, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar. Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were the priests. And Shavsha, who? Shavsha was a scribe. Yes. Now let me spell Shavsha okay. for you. S-H-A-B-S-H-A -S -S in this translation. Right, in this one, same. S H. A V S H A. That is Sierra Hotel Alpha Victor. Sierra Hotel Alpha. Yeah. Shavsha was a scribe, was a secretary. Now, there's a problem here. What's the problem? The problem is in the second book of Samuel, hmm. chapter 8, hmm. verse 17. It says that who was the scribe, who was the, who was the secretary, Siraya. Yeah. But, and here it says Shavsha. But in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 18, okay. verse 16, it says Shavsha was the scribe, yes. the secretary. That's right. So my question to you, sir, is this. Yes. Is this a mistake? No, it's not a mistake. Why? There's no mistake there. It's simply two names for the same person. Two names for, for the, the same, same person. Can I tell you something? So some people call me Julian. Yeah. Some people call me Jules. Okay. okay. What is your name, actual name? My my real name is Peter. So okay. you... No, no. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. Hold on. So if your so, so if my name is Peter, yeah. Someone writes down on my on my official form there, yeah. Peter Shepherd. Yeah. Uh, another person writes down there. Oh, Julian. Yeah. Another per and my friend at work writes down Jules. Are okay. they talking about a different person or are they talking about the same person? Right. Can I ask you, if your name is Peter, yes. You have to fill a form. Yes, and I have to put down Peter. You have to put name. down Peter. You have I to always say first name. Hold on, hold on, Peter. hold on. You have to put down Peter. Yes. If if in the form you put down Peter. Yes. Somebody. When they copy that, mm. by mistake, instead of Peter, they put John, they mm. put Matthew. Mm. That would be a mistake, it yes? Would be, yeah. That but would. If someone at my work, no, no, writes hold on. Julian, yeah, that okay. is not a mistake. Okay, okay. you given that. Okay. You given that. This one, your true name is Peter, yes? My name is, my name is Peter, okay. and it's also Julian. No, no. But people I, also call okay. me Jules. No, forget okay. that, forget Three that. Three names, okay. Forget that. But one person. Forget one that. Person. Forget I that. Me. What's your really? What's your real name? So I believe this Peter. is the same person. No, it is not. Saraya. It is not. It is not. Two names for the same person. No. This often happens no. in the Bible. It time. doesn't. It doesn't say. Often in these times, people no. have sir, two names at sir, least. Sir, sir, let's say your name is Peter. Yeah. In one form, referring to you, it puts Peter. Yes. In the other form, John. Then surely, 
one of that is a mistake. Right, true. Similarly, in one book of similarly, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Where does it say in the Bible is the same person? Because they were both referred to as the secretary. Yes. So we assume they are the same person. No. That word which you are using, that they are the same person, yeah. it is not written in the Bible. Um, well, I, no, it's not written in the Bible. Thank you not, very much. It's not written in the Bible. So right. It, so don't it use it your will, word. What it, what it does, what it does don't assume, use your word. We can assume that they are the same person, okay. no, because they're described as being the same okay, person. Okay, look, in our Quran, what is, in our Quran, I have to read that. Mm. I cannot use my own. So if in Word. the Quran it refers no, to no. Al-Masih okay. and it also refers to Isa, is okay. it referring to two different people no, or no. is it referring to one the same person? No, no, he's talking about the, same, the same person. Okay. Hold on, hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So yeah. here Mas also, okay. two names, yeah. one person. Okay. Where, no where, okay, okay. Show me where no it problem. says, show me where the, it says that they are the same person. It doesn't say that they're the same person. It's right, it say. doesn't say. It simply says okay, that okay, he was okay. the secretary. Is your Bible true? Um, so, so... No, simple. Our Quran is true. I'm yes. asking you now, is yes. your Bible true? We believe that the Bible is God's message to us. Therefore, so is it, it is, true? It is as originally given. Okay. So tell me, given, so true. tell me, in the yeah. second book of Samuel, is telling us Siriah was the secretary, Siriah was the scribe. But in the first book of Chronicles, is telling us Shavsha was the scribe, Shavsha was the secretary, which is the real name. Both. Both. It can't Both. be. Why not? It can't Why be. Why not? Okay, anyway, let's Why move forward. Let's move. Okay. I'm also Jules. But Come your name friend. is Peter. Okay. But your name is Peter. <laughs> my, my first name. So, officially. No, no. Officially, I'm Peter. Yeah, so yeah. you're Peter. Okay. To, okay. To my Let me give you. To my work colleagues, I'm Julian. Yeah, yeah. To Let my, me. To my real friends, my, my mates, I'm yeah. Jules, okay? Yeah. Let but me I'm ask the same you another person. one. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm the same person. Okay. Let me ask <laughs> you another one. Let me ask you another one. So, you know, well, I have as. No hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think last this time I went and talked last, to someone else. Thanks no, 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 no. Last, last. Uh, uh, stay there. Be a brave Christian. Let me give you one more example. And here, it's in the New Testament. You see, I'm trying to learn from you. Mm. That when I read the Bible, I'm a Muslim who's reading your Christian Bible. Mm. So I want to know when you Christians read the Bible, what you think of it. All right. Now, as Muslims, I already said we believe in the whole of the Quran from the beginning to the end. So, and as the Bible a, as well. so, so we as believe a, in the Bible also. So, in parts of the Bible we believe. Yes, because, because in parts of the Bible the we cannot the believe. Prophets, we're given by all right, Allah. all right, okay. all right. Yeah. All right. Now, as a Christian, you already said you believe in your Bible. I put my trust in it, yeah. yes. And you already said you trust your Bible. Yes, I put my trust in You already in said your Bible is true. Yes. Is your Bible, our Quran is 100% true. Is your Bible 100% true? My Bible, as originally given by God, is 100% true, yeah. Okay, let's say, let's but, say, yeah, but, let's say this is the Bible. Now, this Bible in my hand, New International Version, or the King James's version of the Bible, yeah. is that 100% true? The translations are not 100% true. They are but translations. The, but the original, okay. the original, the original are, which one is true? The original, which one? The original, Greek, as given by God, Hebrew, Hebrew Aramaic, and Greek. So, so these are, God. so thank you very much for that. Yeah. So these are, uh, these Bibles are translations, yes? Yes. Are these Bibles the translation of the original? It's just like you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily think that they say that say, Yusuf Ali's translation or Pictal's translation or Sahih International translation or Hilali Khan's translation of the Quran is 100 percent true. No, you no, they are translation. Because they are translation. Yeah, they it's are the translation. Christians also. But we believe these are not 100 percent true. But my friend, they are translation. My friend, I okay. believe in the translation of our Quran. Okay, I believe. For example. I have a Quran here. Yes. Okay. 
I believe in the translate in the Arabic of this Quran and in the English translation of okay. this Quran. Now, hundred percent. Now, let me show you. I have got another Quran, uh, which is a translation. If I can get it out from my bag now, this is a English translation of the Quran. Okay, yeah. it hasn't got the Arabic in it. This okay, is the English yeah. translation, yeah, the English. but I believe in this translation 100%. Okay. All right, so that's how, so, so yeah. that's why I'm asking you as a Christian. Is that a good translation? So that those translations, I it's believe, translation. I believe they are good translation. Yeah. They are true translation. Okay. Now, as a Christian, do you believe this is 100%? true translation of your Bible. I believe it's a good translation, just like you what believe that that is a good translation of the Quran. So it hasn't got any mistakes? I'm not saying it doesn't have any mistakes. No, I believe it may have mistakes. It okay. may have mistakes, yeah. but I believe it's a good translation. I believe so, it translates try, try very hard. And you are a Christian, yes? Yes. You are a born again Christian. I am a Christian who, who describes myself as born again, yes. Okay, you are being a brave Christian, you are being an honest Christian because being a Christian, you are telling me that in the King James version of the Bible, in the New International version of the Bible, in other Bibles, in the translations, there are mistakes. Of course, just like there are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now, now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's okay. move forward to the New International version of the. Uh, let's move forward to the. Uh, what's wrong with you? Have a nice day. You're going home. Allah Akbar. So what? Why are you jealous? You're going home. They are 31. Allah Wakbar! Stop crying. You're going home, have manners. Allah Wakbar! Hey! Stop lying! Stop lying! I will come to you next time. You're a big liar. Hey! How can Jesus be a God when he was a man? You run away now. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. So, sir. You're a better Christian than that Christian who just came, shouted, and when I asked him a question, he ran away. Now, you're a Christian, yes. you are still here, you are a braver Christian than that Christian who came and ran. Now, so, in the, as Muslims, soon. Uh, soon, yeah. soon I will finish, yeah? Yes. Okay, now, as Muslims, I said we believe in our Quran from the beginning yeah. to the end. Now, as a Christian, do you do believe in your Bible? Yes. I do believe that it's God's message to us. The whole of the Bible. I yes. Trust it. You believe in the whole of the Bible. I believe that, as originally given, the whole. Bible One last given, example. So you believe yeah. in the Old Testament? Yes. I, of course, yes. And you believe in the New Testament, yes? yes? I believe that is God's message to us. Okay, yes. now one last example. Don't disturb us, please. One last example. Christian, my friend. One la excuse me. We are we are busy later on. Okay, let, later on. Later on. Okay, last example. Sir, you do believe in the in the New Testament. Yes, I you do. Yes. Thank you very much. You believe in the New Testament 100%. Sir, God by sir, Jesus death and sir, as yeah. a Christian, you believe in the New Testament 100%, yes? I believe the New Testament is trustworthy. Yes. And that therefore, we should put our faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you believe in the New Testament. And, as you, the one. and you believe in the New Testament, there are uh, no mistakes. I, I don't believe that the translations have no mistakes. I do believe that as it was originally written, there are no mistakes. So yes. would you believe that in the new translation, uh, in the... Excuse me. Okay. So, excuse me. Yes. Would you believe that in the New Testament of the Bible, there are no mistakes in the translation? Um, no, there could, be, there could be mistakes in the translation of the New Testament. Just like so be. there are mistakes in the Old Testament? There could be mistakes in the translation. Yeah, I've already told you that. And there are mistakes in the New Testament? I believe that as originally given... No, as, originally written, as it is now. As originally written, yeah. there are no mistakes. But as, as it written. is now in the translation, 
are there mistakes there could be there are and in the new old testament and in the new testament yes mistakes yeah, could, be. could be all right right now you're a brave christian you're being honest okay before we finish one i want to finish as well last example okay in the new testament in the first gospel in the bible gospel according to matthew chapter 27 verses 3 to 6 Verses 3 to 6. Okay. In the New Testament of any Christian Bible. In the Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 27. From verses 3 to 7. In the Bible it says. Have you got it out? I just find it. Yeah. Got it now. Okay. You got it out. Yeah. I got it now. Yeah. Okay. It says. When Judas. His betrayer. Yeah. Who's betrayer? The betrayer of Jesus. That's right, he betrayed Jesus. Right. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver. Yeah. What did he do? He brought back the 30... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He brought back the 30 pieces of silver. Yeah, he wants to bring back the money which they've given him for betraying Jesus. Can I finish? Then yeah. I'll ask you. Yeah. So it tells us that when Jude, Judas, his betrayer, the betrayer of Jesus, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and the elders and throwing down the 30 pieces of silver in the temple, he departed. What did he do? He threw the 30 pieces of silver. All right? And he went away, and he went and hanged himself. What did he do? He threw 30 pieces of silver reward he got for betraying Jesus, and he went away, and Judas hanged himself. He committed suicide. Is this verse true? I believe that it is true. Thank you very much. But there's a problem. Still in the in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, chapter one. Brothers, take them further away. They're disturbing us. Okay. So in the in the book of Acts, yes, chapter, chapter 1, mm. verse 18. Mm. Under the subheading, the fate of Judas. Okay? That was also the subheading in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 27, mm. verses 3 to 6, which we read. Mm. The subheading there was also the fate of Judas. Now, in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 18. Under the subheading, the fate of Judas. In the Bible it says, Now this man, which man? Judas. He acquired a field mm -hmm. with the reward of his wickedness. Mm -hmm. So in the book of Acts, he's telling us that Judas, with the 30 pieces of silver reward he got for betraying Jesus, what did he do? He bought a field. He bought a field with the reward of his wickedness and falling headlong, mm. Judas, he burst open in the middle and all his bowels gushed out. Okay. Yeah, what's so the problem? The problem, what's is, the, problem? the problem is simple. Yes. Let me finish and then you will answer. Mm. Then we will finish. In the Gospel according to Matthew, Chapter 27, verses 3 to 6. Yeah. First contradiction. First mistake. It says, Judas, when, who betrayed Jesus? Yeah. When Jesus was condemned. Mm. He wants Judas, to the let me say it, yeah. Judas repented. And the reward money, re, the reward, yeah. 
the 30 pieces of silver. He what did he do? He, he yeah. let me finish. He yeah. threw the 30 pieces of silver down yep. and he went away. <laughs> but in the book of Acts, mm. it tells us. It, it. Hold on. He it hold them. on, sir. They hold. Sir, let me so, finish. Sir, I will come to you. I will come to you. Let yeah. me finish. But, but, in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, it says the 30 pieces of silver which Judas got, Yahuda got. It doesn't tell us he threw them down. It tells us yeah. with those 30 Afterwards, pieces of, hold on, it says with those 30 pieces of yeah. silver, yeah. he bought a field. Yeah. My uh, question to you, did Jesus with those 30 pieces of silver, did Jesus, did Judas buy a field or yes. did he throw those 30 pieces of silver down? Both. 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 Where does it say that? First, first, Judas wanted to return the, the money to the leaders and the priests. It doesn't he, say there. He, they wouldn't accept it. He threw it down, but they would not accept it. Read us from the Bible okay. where it says. They would not accept it. No. He then took the money and bought a field. Where does it say in the okay. Bible? Um, well, I'm trying to explain to you how there is no contradiction okay. here. Okay, I am giving okay. you verse here on the Bible. You show me in the Bible where it says what you are saying. Yeah. Uh, the priest didn't want to have that. that, that where in the Bible okay. does it say, sir, where in the Bible does it say that when Judas threw the 30 pieces of silver, the priest did not want it and they gave it back to? Where does it say in your Bible? Nowhere. Okay. I admit that it, that it does not say explicitly that, 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 he, that they would not. That the so it doesn't would say. Would Thank you. Explicitly, Thank you. Explicitly, Thank you. But I'm showing you how there is no any contradiction. So they there. are your own words. So there is no contradiction. Okay, right. There's okay. No, you're can, being we honest. Can, we can show. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're being honest. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're being honest. It doesn't show in the Bible, no. but they were your words. Yes. Second point, then we will finish. Same, the fate of Judas. Yes. Gospel according to Matthew chapter 27, verses 3 and 6, and the book of Acts, Chapter 1, verse 18. Now, in the last part, it says, how did Judas die? There's a contradiction. How did Judas, Yahuda, die? I don't see any contradiction there. Let me tell you, sir. Thank you very much. Then I will give you a chance. Then we will finish. In the Gospel according to Matthew, towards the end of chapter 27, Verse 6, it says, Judas, after he threw the 30 pieces of silver in the temple, in the temple, Judas, he went and hanged himself. So Judas, what did he do? He went away. Can I finish? Can I finish? It says, after Judas threw the 30 pieces of silver, Judas went away and he hanged himself. He committed suicide. Yeah. But in the book of Acts, yeah. it tells us the 30 pieces of silver which Judas got as a reward, he did not throw them down in the temple. But he, he didn't do that. hold on, I'll come to you. I will come to you. I will come to you. You're a gentleman. Yeah. All right. But in the book, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll give you a chance, okay. one by one, I'll give you, yeah. but in the book of Acts, it doesn't say that Judas, he threw the 30 pieces of silver reward in the temple, it says with those 30 pieces of silver reward he got for betraying Jesus, Judas bought a field, yes. and, and when he bought a field, what, 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 what happened? Judas, while he was walking, it says, it say says... walking here. Okay. I don't see a thing anything about walking. Okay, listen. Yeah, I'm surprised, I can tell. He was trying to hang himself. Okay, listen. He fell listen. from his listen. hanging. He listen. fell from his rope or his tree or yeah. whatever his hanging rope on. Brother. Brother. Okay, listen. Brother. I don't have any problem with that. Brother, listen. 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 Hey. Now it says... In the book of Acts, you want to talk to me, talk to me, but at the moment I'm busy, all right? 
Now, excuse me, but in the book of Acts, it says, it doesn't say that Judas, he threw the 30 pieces of silver down. It says he bought a field. And what happens in that field, it says, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and all his bowels gushed out. Yeah. In the book of Acts, it does not say that Jesus, ha that Judas hanged himself. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that, but it doesn't so, mean he cannot be, he cannot be. So he fell down. Whilst walking, he fell down. No, he doesn't say anything about walking here. Okay, it, okay. Let's say, let's say okay. I tried to hang myself on okay. that tree. Okay, But I don't succeed in hanging myself on that tree. I fall okay. down and I put my, my, okay. my, my, my balls first okay. open, okay? In no problem. Okay. No problem. Okay, answer the question. Did Judas hang himself? I think I've answered your question. You right haven't, now. you haven't. I've answered your final, question. Final question. No, I've answered it. No, you haven't. Did Judas... Did... No, no, question. come on, come on. My questions. friend, okay. my friend. This is why sometimes I raise my voice up. Two now, final I'm not, questions. No, no final, final question. question. Final, third final question. Then. Final question. Third final question. You don't allow me. Come final on. question. The third final question. Did Judas... Hang himself, commit suicide, hang himself, or did Judas fall down and die? Yes, I believe Judas went out to hang himself. He went out to hang himself, but he fell from whatever he was hanging himself, from a tree or whatever it was, I don't know, he was attached to a tree, yeah. to a rock or whatever. Yeah. He fell and he first opened. Okay. I have no problem. Okay, show me those words what you said in the Bible. Okay, it says here, he fell, his body burst open and his intestines spilled out. Okay? All right. It doesn't but, say anything about walking in the field like you're making up. Okay, anyway. okay, but does it, so he, does it say he fell down? Yes. In the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, does it? In the book of Acts, does it say he hanged himself? Uh, in the book of Acts, it does. It says that in Matthew. Yeah. Right. So Matthew. why it says in Matthew he hanged himself? Yeah. Yes. He went out to hang himself. Yeah. But in the in the book of Acts, it doesn't say Judas hanged himself. Um, no, it doesn't. You're right. So what is true? Both. How can both be true? Either he hanged himself or he hanged himself. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was it. You know, it's still a contradiction. You did, could not prove it. Two contradictions. You know, and I've talked about it. And maybe next time we will uh, carry on.